Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the JS Core Dev Team Weekly Sync. It's November the 26th. It's 2018 still, but only just. Uh, really nice to see you all. Um, this is a special edition. Uh, we're going to do a really quick uh, round of updates. Uh, and we're going to skip out the bits uh, for you being for what you've done because that's already written down and we'll leave that for people to read afterwards and we'll just go over the things that you're blocked on and what you're next um, going to do next because uh, what we're going to do is do a mid-quarter uh, OKR check-in. Uh, I, I know we're like a little bit late but um, I think it's a good time to uh, update all of us on uh, on our progress and how much further we think we're going to get with our OKRs uh, and figure out whether or not we should reprioritize. So that's the plan for today. Um, the people who this doesn't uh, apply to are welcome to step out uh, at any point. Uh, but first of all, we will do a uh, round of updates. And uh, first on the list is Jacob, who is also the note taker. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this week, I'm working on the libp2p road mapping, um, and then also continuing the libp2p daemon work um, for the test bed. And I am not currently blocked on anything. Awesome, thank you, uh, Vashko. Hello. So this week I will also review the v002 roadmap of libp2p. Uh, I will continue the work in the DHT stress tests. Uh, this time for the shared intensive since I implemented the lookup intensive. Uh, I will also test the IPNS over the H interop and address all the IPNS over PubSub reviews that I have. And that's it. Cool, thank you. Um, moving on to Hugo. Hi guys. So I'm still kind of locked on the CI stuff, uh, the infra team. It's kind of going back and forth with the CI thing, but hopefully that will be sorted out. Uh, also, I still have two pull requests that I'm blocked. Um, if you guys can go there and check that up, it would be nice. And I'll continue working on the bundle size and error codes this week. And also continue like the tweaking and learning about the async stuff and Mplex. How are you blocked on the pull request? Do you just need to review? Uh, in, on one of them, it's kind of, I kind of been waiting for the Go team to say something about what uh, it was implemented on our side, if they can implement it on their side, or if we just go ahead and uh, merge it and just wait for them to decide and the other one uh, just reviews and the, the first one on the done stuff the fixed stainless deck uh, stainless check uh, is also uh, kind of important if you guys can review it because it it's what's been blocking IPFS from working on uh, the latest node version. So it's a good one to get merged as soon as possible. And that's it. OK, cool. Thank you, Hugo. Um, who is next? Uh, Volker. I, uh, I'm not really blocked. I just want to bring up that CI is, again, not working because it's going out of this space. I really hope that this can be fixed somehow because, yeah, it's just super um, annoying. And I will work further on the um, ITLD API thing, so I have that yeah, stuff up and just also uh, mm. playing a few examples and playing with it if it's actually a good idea or just something. That's all. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, okay, so me, uh, I am, so, ah, I have two pull requests that I would really like a review on from somebody, anybody, uh, multiple people. Uh, there is, uh, so the interface I profess core now has a pull request for the object API changes. Uh, object API is going to be returning CIDs um, 
in the future uh, would like a review on that uh, and then I can get implementing it in JS IPFS and JS IPFS API. Secondly, um, I finally finished the PR for the um, CID base option uh, and uh, that is due for a review. That is, it is a big one, I warn you, but, uh, and I apologize, it, but it is a lot of it is kind of mechanical changes so you'll see the same thing sort of um, repeating so it should be shouldn't be too bad to review so there we go <laughs> uh sorry about that cool so this next next up thing for me uh, ideally i want to yeah if we can get a review on that object api changes then i would like to get on and uh, do that refactor um i need to still need to do the add from star uh, implementation uh, the uh for those methods in JS IPFS. Um, and then I wanted to get onto uh, writing interrupt tests for CID v0 or v1 put and get. And that is me. Um, cool. Thank you, Alan. Uh, moving on, uh, Matteo. Here we go. So, can you hear me? Yes, hopefully. Um, yeah, um, so last week uh, we did a little bit of uh, sync up chat with, uh, with Alan um, and then I did a bit of a big, uh, did a little bit of analysis on uh, our start benchmarking data. Turns out that there is a bit of a slow, a slowness due to the key generation part of uh, the JS APFS implementation. And, um, that's where, and uh, more or less, that was my, 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 the main focus of this week. Uh, I also helped reviewing all the content for the readmes, which we are still waiting from a review from you, Alan. So if you can let us know as soon as possible, it would be uh, fantastic. I would try and get to that tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Um, Cool. Uh, so, Alex, please. Um, yeah, so I'm not blocked on anything. Uh, next, I will be. So, I re implemented uh, pretty much all of MFS, which is nice, uh, to support HAMP sharded directories. There's a pull request open, which I just, yeah, it's much like ours. It's enormous. It's going to be really hard to review. Um, sorry. Uh, but yes, yeah, so HAMP sharded directory support is kind of in. Uh, so I'm deploying it to the IBFS registry to see if it's hopefully faster. Um, locally, it's much faster running under Docker on a shared tenancy machine. Uh, we'll see. Uh, early feedback seems to be that we've swapped CPU usage for memory usage. Um, yay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be looking into that. That is me. I'm not blocked. Awesome. Thank you, Alex. Uh, and Ron. Yeah, so this week, uh, just going to do some refactoring on just how the tests are um, kind of laid out. Um, also adding the pre-generated key to the test for a quicker startup. Um, and then going on to adding a couple more tests, uh, which is uh, get fetch for multiple peers and then the browser benchmarks. So last week was a short week for me, so that's it. Perfect. Thank you, Ron. Uh, cool. Okay, so that's that is everyone listed. Um, now, with the remaining time, which we don't have a lot left of, but we will uh, it, use it wisely. Uh, it, we will do a exercise. First of all, go to the if you scroll down to the bottom of the hackpad, there is a uh, a uh, a part where you are allowed to list out how many rep days do you think you have left working. There are twenty five working days, and I say working days. Uh, but they include like Christmas day <laughs> and uh, the days that you are currently taking for holidays. So you could work all of that time, but you probably won't. Uh, so if you, if you are, uh, if you're, if you're going to do some less working days than 25, then maybe write them down here. Uh, and now uh, what we'll do is we'll go over our uh, OKRs real quick. Um, and uh, what I'd like is let me just, um, paste the link to the OKRs in the chat. Uh, so here we go. So we've got the IPFS ones. Then like, so the libp2p and IPLD people are, are 
uh, are also invited to join in. I'll put their links too. Um, I think that'd be cool. Um, but so the idea is we'll go through the, um, uh, the OKRs, or we'll go through people. And if you can pick out your OKRs from the spreadsheet um, and just read it out, uh, and then uh, if what you could do is, uh, okay, to, uh, if you can give us an update on the progress for that particular um, OKR, super quick, uh, how much further you expect to get on that, uh, given that you've only got uh, maximum 25 days left, uh, and then uh, let us know if you plan on like reprioritizing uh, to not do that or focus on other things instead. Um, so, uh, does everyone understand? Yeah? No? We understand? So, yeah, it's, it's not applicable to everybody here, um, but just the, just the people who have OKRs. Uh, so what, I, what I'll do is I'll go first um, and uh, I will go through my, uh, my OKRs uh, and, uh, and do the exercise and then we can, we can all go through and do it ourselves. Okay, so me, uh, my first one on the, on the spreadsheet is base32 CID migration is complete. Uh, at the time that I did the actual scoring for the mid quarter, I hadn't managed to do any further work on it. So that was, that, <laughs> that was a, a zero from me. Um, I have since then made significant progress on uh, implementing the CID base option. Uh, and I hope to have uh, the ability to retrieve CID v1 uh, or slash v0 from our uh, data store. Um, and to at least be, uh, I guess, a little way towards uh, CID v1 as the default, uh, CID v1 base, base 32 as the default. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to adjust that one that I've put mid, mid quarter projection. I'm going to take that down a little bit, but um, uh, because I, looking at my 16 days that I have, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish all of that uh, with everything else that's going on. My second OKR that I have is uh, JS IDFS daemon is one or more of the gateway nodes. Again, haven't made any progress towards this. Uh, I have put down 0 0.5 as the projection because I felt as though I would be making, be able to make some progress um, getting up and running, sorting out some of the performance issues just with the work that's happening on Nearform. It, it might be closer to a stage where it could be a IPFS gateway node. So um, that's why I've put half down. Uh, that's probably a little ambitious. Uh, so what else do I have? Okay, so measurably, uh, here we go. So a, web a website is published to visually track a set of basic performance profiles of JS IBFS releases over historical versions. Uh, I, again, didn't make any focus of that, but since then, uh, we have been, uh, we've been working with the Nearform guys, and it looks as though there will, that will actually be, um, be nearly done or, or uh, done to some extent. So uh, I put 0 0.75 down. It might be it might be a whole one by the end of the quarter. So, um, so that's super good news. And finally, um, test quality has improved. Uh, duplicates have removed and coverage increased by at least 5%. Um, been working a little bit to, towards that um, this week even. Uh, I think one as a actual projection is pretty ambitious, but uh, Seeing as it's a P2, um, I will, I think I will probably be uh, deprioritizing that a little bit uh, and working on it if I can, uh, if I have any extra time. Uh, so that's me. Uh, shall we go? So who? So the easy one next is uh, Vashko. Hello. So uh, regarding mine uh, two in JSIPFS, DHT is enabled by default and then interrupt with go IPFS DHT. Uh, so in this OKR, I have uh, uh, the awesome endeavor of DHT uh, almost ready, and uh, I have tests that uh, uh, test interoperability, and it is working as well. But uh, all of this needs reviews. And uh, uh, the other one, IPNS is functional over PubSub and the DHT. For the first one, for the PubSub part, uh, I have also PRs for all of that, but uh, it also needs reviews. Alan is starting reviewing that. 
and uh, the interop part it's also working but it needs uh, a release from uh, go ipfs as well about the ipns over dht i'm i have the initial implementation ready but uh, uh, i need to figure out some uh, problems and uh, also do the tests of the interop uh, so my biggest concerns for the GSIPFS OKRs are basically the time that uh, we'll, Alan will have for reviews, as he will have a lot in his plate. So I don't know if uh, my projections of uh, one for both of them will be uh, good or not, but at least I think that uh, the PRs will be ready for review by the end of the quarter. Uh, going to the lip 2 p OKRs now, uh, so the first one, interrupt tests for Goal p 2 p and GS p 2 p exists for core functionalities. Uh, my current uh, score for that is zero. I haven't started it yet. Uh, I hope to do some work on that this quarter after uh, Jacob has the demon uh, work ready. Uh, but yeah, maybe 0 0.6 will not be a shift, but at least uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, I hope I can get it. And uh, then uh, another one, the testbed can run large scale, scale tests for the DHT and PubSub. Uh, I've started uh, some stress tests for the DHT uh, part recently, and uh, I hope to get uh, a good score on this. It will not be finished by the end of the quarter, but I think it will be on a good state by then. Then the next one, uh, DHT is enabled, it's uh, the same as JSPFS. This one is also. And uh, the last one, IPNS spec exists and is complete. Uh, so the IPNS spec PR already exists. Uh, it is not ready to review yet because uh, 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 thanks to the interop changes, it is uh, currently out of date. I have to update it with the uh, changes that we did for the IPNS over pubs of interop, but uh, it will be uh, read it, I think, at least until the end of the course. And it's all for me. Awesome. Yeah, I think uh, helping, so on your point about me and my time ability, having uh, or encouraging other people to review your um, work before I get around to it is really um, is really helpful because they can weed out any uh, any bits and pieces and, and that can keep you sort of flowing a little bit at, at least. Um, cool, okay, next person I can see here is uh, Alex. Would you like to do your thing? Uh, sure, so uh, I'll test windows popping up. So, uh, yeah, NPM and IPFS is the default registry that IPFS developers and CR use to install NPM dependencies. I mean, this is done, right? You can totally use it today if you have infinite time and you're a monkey. Um, so yeah, uh, it's pretty much done. It's just the, it's so close, it's so close. It's just the, the kind of the performance issues that are stopping it from being uh, usable. But I'm very convinced, I'm very, very convinced that this is going to be done by the end of the quarter. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be done before I'm in Porto, to be honest. Uh, yeah, cool. So a repo migration tool exists in JS IPFS can automatically upgrade all the repos. I haven't started it. Don't know what it's about. Uh, probably not going to finish it this quarter. Uh, next up is JS IPFS units engine is decomposed into smaller modules for better maintainability, testability, reliability, and reuse. The re and then it stops. Refactor modules part of a release. Yeah, so that's been done uh, and it should go out in the next release, uh, which will be amazing. Uh, continuous deployment requirements for intro infra established, making continuous deployment an option for all protocol labs JS projects. Uh, haven't started it. I think all we need, this is just documentation um, for Aaron to kind of take away and, and flesh out. Uh, so that should, yeah, that should totally be doable. Um, else candidate modules for extraction of JS IPFS are identified and agreed um, yeah uh, to my mind now this doesn't seem as high priority as it did earlier um, so I don't think this is going to get done uh, final one is a draft spec for UNIX FSP2 is finalized um, 
me personally, I don't feel like I am capable of finishing this. I think it's way bigger. Um, and so for Ruby decided like fundamentally about like the IPLD working group maybe or a separate working group for, for APIs and standards and and that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, I will continue keeping an eye on the process, but I'm not really, I, it's not within my power to deliver it, I don't think. So, there. Um, that is that. That's me. Cool, thank you. Uh, on the CI stuff, I'd like to think that uh, with the work that Hugo's been doing, that we can maybe at least make some uh, some progress towards that before the end of the quarter. So, uh, yeah, um, cool. It's fair enough on the other on the other points. Um, Brad, uh, so who else? Uh, Hugo, would you like to to go? So let's start with. Um JS happy first ones on the sim ports and we have a CLI to manage the versions and switch between Go and JS. I started some research about it, uh, checking out the tools and stuff like that, but not uh, didn't implement anything yet. So by the end of the quarter, I don't really think that it will be even half done. So uh, that's that. Uh, on the um, transferring large files, uh, I didn't do any work on that. Um, I prioritized um, other OKRs, um, such as the bundle size. That one is going pretty well. Um, I start doing uh, some work on this. I have a, a concrete plan for the rest of it. So that should be finished by the end of the quarter, as well as the error codes also. Um, uh, regarding another one, that's not actually mine, but as Alan said, the work I've been doing on the CI should be uh, a good starting point, or I don't know, to have CD. We have a couple of pro uh, prototypes working in, a, in at least two or three repos, and we will hopefully uh, try it out on the main one. Uh, we already have the, like the basic stuff with the tests and the linting, and if uh, everything everyone agrees, we can make a, uh, some tests to see if the um, the current implementation works for us to do uh, continuous deployments. Um, but let's see if we can finish it until the end of the quarter. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, and then I guess, uh, is the last one Jacob? No. Oh no, we've got Volker as well. Jacob, would you like to go next? Though? Sure. All right. I'm all in libp2p land, so I will go there. Um, error handling, that's just a constant improvement. Um, we've added error codes to quite a few of the modules, but there's still a lot to go. Um, I think 0.7 is probably still a pretty good projection. Um, network has a visualization tool. This was kind of a stretch goal for us, and we probably will not hit it, so zero is right. Um, libp2b daemon, that should be hopefully done um, later this week or next week. So that should be good. Um, a test bed exists and can test 50,000 libp2b nodes. We're probably not going to hit 50,000 nodes. I've been working on that with uh, Vashko and um, Cole, but I think we'll probably get um, at least to the point where we can start scaling up with that. What's next? Uh, NAT traversal spec. So one of the things we wanted to do is get the NAT traversal spec um, solidified so that we could start working on the um, actual JS implementation, finish that up early next year. Um, 0.5 is probably going to be a bit high. I don't think we've spent much time on that, um, but we are having a libp2p um, team week early next year. So hopefully we can um, hash out a bunch of the specs then. Then users can configure libp2b to use uh, elliptic crypto keys. 
instead of RSA. So this is pretty much done. The issue that currently there is in libp2p keychain when it goes to export the keys and store them. Um, currently only RSA actually has an export function on it, so that breaks. Um, so I just need to get that added, but that shouldn't take too, too long. So I think that should be good to go. Um, and then examples and proper documentation. There's a lot of a lot of the repos, but I think we're getting closer. 0.6 is probably high for all of the repos. Um, but I think we will probably see that about uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 maybe. I think that is it. Cool. Thank you. Uh, and then finally, Volker. All right. So I'm totally in IPLD land. Um, so the first one is signing off on the graph sync design. I'm not sure about it if it should be a zero or a one. So it's either or because we kind of, I think, agree that what we currently have is not a thing. So I'm not sure if it's a zero or one. Um, then the the next two items are just not a thing anymore because like the when we did the planning in between the graph sync, the whole stuff changed mid quarter. So those then. These two items are not really an item anymore. It doesn't make sense anymore. And the last one is still a thing. So I still plan, um, I should probably make this a one. Um, I plan to the end of the quarter to ha have at least a prototype, which kind of is not big swap, but something else that works with a Unix FS version one to currently. Um, yeah. If you call it graph sync or if you don't call it graph sync, whatever. Um, yes, and then I worked, so I saw that um, one item is on Michael's plate, but I did the work, which is the review of the IPLD APIs. Um, so, um, yeah, I did good progress there, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's all I had. Yeah. You can, you can just transfer that one to you if you want, by the way. Just put your name yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. I, Whatever, yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael, would you like to also uh, do this? I didn't realize you would. I didn't see your face yet, but for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't have them up in front of me because I have OKRs in like four different spreadsheets. But, um, <laughs> it's a nuts. But um, basically, like the, at a high level, sort of like all of the proto school stuff is um, slated to be done by the end of the quarter. Um, we won't be. Uh, we, we won't be like actually launching until like mid January just for tactical reasons. <laughs> like nobody, it's not good to launch a product like during Christmas. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that'll, that's all on track. Um, all the rest of the OKRs are looking really good. The newsletter is shaping up nicely. The, um, yeah, all the, the, the weekly meetings are going well. Um, the plan for sort of reducing new contributor stuff is all going great. Um, the IPLD work is all on track. Um, there's like barely anything left to do to meet the, the current OKRs, um, just some Unix of SB2 work, but most of the, the big stuff has all happened. Um, and yeah, that's about where we're at. You are hitting all of your targets. Yeah, well, yeah, but then, <laughs> yeah, but don't, don't look at my events OKRs. So. <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, cool. Um, in which case, I think we've got through everyone. If you, if I missed you, okay, like I've already missed two people, so I'm really terrible at this. Uh, if you would like to give us an update and you are here, then uh, then you're welcome. But if if we are all done, so we started like six minutes in, so we do have three minutes. If uh, anyone would like to ask questions or um, uh, just have any general comments or, or anything before we before we sign off. Hugo. Uh, I just would like to ask everyone to give your feedback on the CI pull requests on the infra repo. So to see if we can get that uh, pushed and finally get rid of Jenkins, maybe, I don't know. So please I had a check cool it out. In today, and I am yet to write up what uh, what we talked about. So um, yeah, uh, I mean, in short, we I, I what we what we should do right now is uh, 
push push forwards and uh, enable GitLab and Circle CI and evaluate start evaluating them. We can add in Windows and uh, Mac machines when uh, as and when they come. But um, she is absolutely willing to to and, and the whole info infra team are still gonna still gonna help us out. Um, so, but let's let's talk offline later. Yeah, sure. Just uh, on the on the JS IPFS repo. I already activated a Windows machine and a Mac, so we can check it out how it works. So check that out too. Sounds awesome. Okay. Um, in if there's no if there's no other questions, thank you for joining us, everyone. Uh, I know it might have been a bit boring for some of you, but. Uh, that was that was really useful, and I actually really enjoyed hearing everyone's update from the from libp2p and ibld as well. Um, I feel like I've got a better idea of what's what, how everyone is, where everyone is at the moment. So that's great. Um, that's all. You're free to go. Thank you very much. Uh, until next time. Bye. 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 Bye.